If you have been following me for a, a while, you will have noticed how I insist on saying that before starting the renovation work, it's important to have studied a detailed project, even in the choice of the furniture. Let's see why in this video. Hi, welcome to this channel. I am Virginie, interior designer, and I deal with houses that represent 100% who must leave them from consultancy to the entire renovation process. I also help foreigners who want to buy and renovate in Italy to support them all the process long, difficult otherwise to follow from a distance. Many people find that I am exaggerated maybe they can understand that it's important to choose the various systems, materials and finishes in the project phase, but they have great difficulty in understanding why even the furniture. Are you one of those? Do you think you can start work and only later choose the furniture? Well, of course you can. <laughs> But today I want to go into the details of why choosing the furniture in the project phase is fundamental for the budget, but especially for the final result and therefore your satisfaction. One of the reasons, the most obvious, is that if you, during the design phase, also choose which furniture to have in the house, you will have a precise idea of the amount of the total cost. In fact, you will have in your hand all the costs, from the technician to the works up to the furniture. It's important to have a quite precise idea of the total amount you will have to pay, because it will allow you to manage the various expenses better. I guess that before starting this adventure you have set yourself a budget, so knowing how much it will cost you will eventually allow you to review some choices. Also upwards maybe, you might have given up, uh, for example, a beautiful tile for the fear of exceeding your budget and instead… but usually the opposite happens, that is you spend almost all the budget amount for the job and then you have to settle for the furniture. It is a shame, don't you think? But as you can imagine, it's not just to have a clear idea of the overall cost that it's advisable to choose the furniture in the project phase. If you have two separate budgets, this point would not touch you that much. There are other reasons why it becomes important to choose furniture first. I will list them and then we will analyze them together. You can eventually move the walls to enlarge a room. Move a door, change its opening or replace it with a sliding door, for example. To study an ad hoc electrical and lighting installation, the aesthetic factor. Let's start from the first point. During the design phase, it is always decided the distribution and the size of the various rooms. Except for the square meters required by law, this is done a little nose, at least as regards the size. We think only about what, more or less, it is supposed to be there. Now, suppose you fall in love with a certain piece of furniture, but that, because of its size, you can't put it anywhere. What do you do? If you are still in the process of working, maybe you can still move a wall but this will increase costs and slow down the work. Most likely, you will be forced to give it up. Nice bother, don't you think? During the project phase, moving a wall is immediate and above all, without costs. Let's get to the doors. Here, I will give you a concrete example that happens to customers who had not done the project into the detail with furniture. They had defined the size of one of the rooms, taking into account the size of a double bed and a small closet. This room had two doors, one leading to the bathroom. 
another to the corridor. The bathroom door was designed as an external sliding door, the other a swing door. Customers follow some rules of Feng Shui uh, that the bed must not be crossed by the straight window door because it takes away energy. For this reason, customers wanted to put the headboard uh, on the wall between the bathroom door and the wall where the swing door was. This hasn't been possible. The spaces to fit the bed was enough, even a little too small, but not enough to open the swing door. If they had thought of this thing before, they could have opted for a sliding door or at most a folding door. But once the door is there, what do you do? You put the bed where you can, even if it's not the solution you would have preferred. In short, you have to come into a compromise. For the electrical system, the principle is very similar. If you do not know what furniture you will have and where you want to put them, you will place the sockets more or less randomly in every wall, just for prudence. You will do the same with the lights. If you want some chandelier, you will put the light spot in the middle of the ceiling. If you want a plique, even there, you will put them in a position that seems appropriate for the vague idea of how you would like to furnish. Arriving at the point of buying the furniture, however, the chandelier may not fall where it should and look like an element out of place. The appliques could disturb and not allow to be able to put what you would like. Even the sockets may be too far from where you really need them, or they may be hiding by a piece of furniture, making them almost unusable. Maybe you would have add a floor socket to have a nice floor lamp near the sofa in the middle of the room, but now you can't. Having a furnishing project before starting work will allow a really specific study of the lighting points and service outlets that will allow you to have a really functional system. Finally, the aesthetic factor. Few people think about it, but it often happens to see finishes and materials that do not fit well with the furniture. An example would be to have too many different types of wood. Not all woods combine well, but even if it were, it is always better to have no more than three different types of wood. Even the color are important. If you choose a pink tinder floor, you won't be able to put a furniture with colors that tend to yellow. They are two colors that don't fit right together. Choosing the furniture later is possible as we said, and you may even be able to get good results. But since you are making a big investment, both economically and temporarily, Shouldn't you do everything for a result that is really wow and tailor-made for you? Where if you really have to make some compromises, you will do them at the project stage where everything is editable without additional costs and where you can get the best result that really represents you. Is that any better? Do you understand now why I insist on a complete co project, including furniture? If you like the topic, please let me know with a like or tell me in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to not miss the upcoming videos. See you soon. Bye.